Do I think I'll add this to my skincare routine? Uh... Holy love, are you so? Holy love. Hi guys, so today we're going to be discussing um, the differences and how I feel about the Revolution 10% Niacinamide and Zinc Serum and the Ordinary 10% Niacinamide and Zinc Serum. Now, I've been testing these for seven days today, uh, morning and night, like it says on the box to do, and I kind of do see a difference between them, but other than that, I don't know if I see a difference on my skin, per se. So, Revolution is a UK company, I think, and they've recently bought out the skincare part of their company. Now, I use Revolution makeup when I wear it and stuff, which is like never, but I do have quite a lot of Revolution makeup. And I saw this about the ordinary and I was like, I need to try some at least because it says it's for oily skin. Now my skin is quite oily. So I thought this will really help me and it'll be brilliant. Whilst Revolution is a UK company, the ordinary is a Canadian company. So you can get these on UK websites as well, but they tend to be sold out a lot especially the ordinary. I could not get the ordinary anywhere. I tried so hard. I ended up buying it on Depop, which I will be putting it up there again. I'll be putting both of these up there because I couldn't get it. I tried so much and I just could not get it. <laughs> so this is what we are reduced to. <laughs> um, if you are normally going to buy the ordinary, that's the wrong box. If you're normally going to buy The Ordinary, you can buy it on the places like Beauty Bay and The Ordinary costs £5 to buy, which I don't think is bad at all. And you get quite a lot for £5, like that's quite good. Whilst, I have notes down here, of course, whilst Revolution Skincare is £6 on Beauty Bay. You can buy it on Revolution's website, which I paid £6 for, I think. I bought it on Revolution's website because Beauty Bay was sold out. So st the stress of trying to get some of the ordinary was a nightmare. <laughs> so if you can find it, buy it, because it is you just can't buy it anyway. It's really annoying. So I have had to watch a YouTube video myself to understand what everything in the actual products are because I just I knew it was for oily skin and I didn't really know what they did so to be able to make this video I've had to watch another video to be able to explain about the things um I'm gonna leave the channel name up here for the channel that I watched uh the channel that I watch she explained it so much more better than I would so I'd amazing skincare I will leave whilst I'm explaining this because credits to her because she knows what she's talking about and I don't. I'm sorry, I just needed help basically. So, from what I was told in the video, the niacinamide helps with blemishes, fade dark spots, helps with wrinkles and helps to moisturise the skin. Um, and the zinc helps prevent bacteria forming, basically preventing acne growing. Um, I didn't really know what niacinamide was when I started, and thanks to that video, I now know, so <laughs> it's always best to know what you're trying to look at. Um, and on the box of the Revolution, it says that it helps reduce the look of blemishes and pores, and helps smooth and calm dry skin. Uh, the Ordinary... It's, it just says high strength vitamin and mineral blemish formula. It doesn't really say much. Well, visibly, the smallest bit on the box visibly regulates sebum and minimises pores. That could, like, not be any smaller if you, like, tried. Like, it's so small. I'm going to put an image up here of the different contents and the similarities between the contents of The Ordinary and Revolution because they do have some similar products in it but they don't in different ways. So whilst they both have a lot of the same ingredients, they Re Revolution has propanidol? I don't know how to pronounce these. 
Again, I do Maisie skincare does it better than I do, so you might as well go and watch that. <laughs> Let's just be honest here. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm no skincare guru. I'm no makeup guru. Let's just like whatever. <laughs> this is my personal opinion on it, basically. The propanidol and glycerin are highly moisturising, which the revolution has in this, um, whilst the ordinary does not. Um, the butylin glycerol uh, helps, it, well, is a skin penetrating enhancer, so it helps penetrate the skin, so it can be like moist and stuff. I hate that word, moist. Ugh. And basically the rest of the ingredients are preservatives um, to make sure that it lasts longer, basically. Whilst the ordinary has a pentylene glycerol which helps mix the niacinamide and the zinc but it's not as hydrating as the propanid propanidol and the glycerin in revolution um so essentially from what they said um it's basically depending on your skin type what really works kind of thing um i took some notes um, throughout my time trying it this was what it my face looked like on the first day of starting using both revolution and the ordinary i used to you this might be a different angle but on my left side of my face i used the revolution and on the right side of my face i used the ordinary so there'll probably be a little video of, like me pointing it on and stuff like in the bottom corner but hey um so, on the first night that I used both of these, I thought that the, when I can pick up the right one, I thought that the Ordinary had less coverage. I thought the Ordinary was very thick and you could feel it and it was quite, quite tacky, let's say. Um, you can, because obviously it's thicker, it runs out and dries out quicker. So, well, in my personal opinion, as you're rubbing it on, and you can feel it like a drag kind of as you're rubbing it in as it dries out. Um, and the revolution when I was using it, it made my skin feel quite soft and quite nice. Um, it doesn't dry out as quickly. You don't have to put as much on. I might put a spot here and one here that might run down my face and it covers all this side of my face. Like, you don't have to use as much at all. If you use a lot of the ordinary, it doesn't happen with the revolution. But if you say put one, uh, like a spot here and then like one here and one here, it will, and you're rubbing it in, it kind of like foams up. I don't know if anybody else has experienced that, but as I'm rubbing it in, it kind of like, foams up and I don't really get why but apparently it does um I'm also putting a picture up of what my skin looks like today I took it outside I don't really see a difference after using it I also see like more spots like a spots come up here like it, I just don't really see a difference I kind of just don't really I don't really think they fit into my skincare routine at all. Like, I don't really have time for them. I don't feel like I can use any other product with them on. Like, I clear my face every time I use them, but I just don't feel like I can use it all the time. So the bottles kind of look similar as well. Um, they're about the same size. The only thing is that Revolution have kind of got like a rose gold chrome thing on here. I mean, there is literally no difference within the packaging. They are both quite nice, but if I was going to pick one, I would probably pick Revolution because it doesn't dry out as quickly. It doesn't like, leave a drag, but the Ordinary is clearly quite popular and so is Revolution. So basically, I don't really know. Again, I don't think I'd leave any of them in my skincare routine. I just... I don't know, I just don't think they're for me at all. So with my oily skin, I think I'll stick to my oily skin. <laughs> I just don't think they are for me. So I will be putting these on Depop and eBay and getting rid. Just like I did with the Glow Stars, they will be gone. Um, 
so that's basically it really again go and check out ida mazy skincare she explains everything better than i do and she has a whole video talking about the niacinamide and how it helps and knows more than me about skincare because i don't really know much about skincare <laughs> Okay, so follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you sometime. Bye.